here basking on the rock. I just want to be careful because I'm sitting here on the edge. It's a newborn baby puffer, a tiny little baby. You've got to remember they're just as venomous as the adults. Just a lot less venom, but could still cause a fatal bite. Tiny little baby puff adder. Look at this. Look at the tongue flickering. First time he's ever encountered a human. Born this year. He's still got the bubble head in the front. Now these baby puff adders are born live. Look at this cute little fellow. He has no idea. Whoa, just want to be careful. You don't want to get bit. Even my baby. A newborn baby is born lethal. With its fangs fully developed and its venom glands fully developed. Look how it's sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Who's this new character? Never smelled this before. You can imagine when you've just been born, everything is a new smell to you. So he's trying to work out, is this guy a predator or is he just an irritation? And at the moment, yeah, it looks like he thinks I'm just an irritation. A perfect location, yeah. All these rocks and gaps. The mother will go under hiding. She'll stop eating. She'll give birth to all these babies. And then these babies from day one are left completely alone. So somewhere in this area, there might still be a couple of them. But if you have 20 babies that are born, you probably only have one or two that will make it to adult. So out of all those babies, not all of them make it. Most of them die due to predators like birds of prey, other snakes, a variety of different things. Even these small little puff adders can get taken down by big spiders, baboon spiders, and giant centipedes. So they're quite vulnerable when they're small. And he's just trying to move away. He's coming out to the bus. You can see there's water in these rock caps. So he could be drinking water. He's now looking to hunt. He's looking quite skinny. So he looks like he actually needs to eat. So he's obviously out on the hunt looking for something to eat. It's nothing like a newborn snake to get your day going. They are just spectacularly cute. And look at that little tongue coming over the ridge. Sniffing, sniffing. Oh my. It's just such a privilege to find them. I, I never get over finding newborn snakes. Because you will not believe on a newborn puff adder like this that the fangs can be so large already. This will work. So there's a lot of misinterpretations and people that believe that a newborn puff adder is not venomous, it's not dangerous. They're all born venomous. All snakes that are venomous are born with venom and fully developed fangs. So that is a complete myth that they're born harmless. I'm just going to very gently grab them behind the head. I want to hurt him. There we go. I got you. Just to demonstrate the size of these fangs. And you're going to see, you're going to get a shock. Actually, when you see the size of these fangs. Look at that. Look at that. There's actually venom coming out right now. Now you can imagine that's a newborn puff adder and it's already at that size. So it has no problem piercing my skin with fangs that size. So born lethal with a very potent venom because from day one it doesn't have support from its mother and needs to go out and hunt for itself. Gently fold it back. See that, it's incredible. It's actually a double fang on the one. So snakes always have a backup fang to replace the one in case they shed one or the one breaks off. They always have a backup fang for the one in the front. So they're never fangless. Now put this back, look at that. That is incredible, the size of that mouth. Put them back gently, and a puff adder this size will catch all kinds of small rodents. I've even seen these small puff adders go for small frogs and toads as well. But their predominant prey is small striped field mice out in these rocky cliffs. See if he wants to drink some water. Truly amazing, and I'm gonna let him go on his way, and hopefully he can grow to be a one meter puff adder one day. Forests only cover a quarter percent of all surface area in South Africa. Many species here can't be found anywhere else in the country. In a small pocket of green on the east coast, rainfall is high and the humidity is palpable. Wildlife has adapted to survive the temperature and the tangle of trees. Neither the treetop nor the forest floor is safe. This is the Rolls Royce of snakes, the Gaboon Adder. All 
also known as the butterfly adder due to its geometric patterning. A master of disguise. Beneath the dappled light of the forest canopy, it blends seamlessly with the leaf litter. Once invisible, it waits in ambush. The gaboon adder is the largest, heaviest viper. With the longest fangs of any snake on the planet, measuring up to a staggering five centimeters. Unlike most vipers, the gaboon adder does not release after biting. Injecting as much as 1,000 milligrams in a single bite. The highest dose of any snake on Earth. Bites have been compared to being boiled in oil. Cytotoxins rapidly destroy tissue, resulting in necrosis, gangrene, loss of limbs, and death. Who would think a thick-bodied snake like this would be able to glide across the water with such finesse? This is still a young kaboon viper. They can get much bigger than this. They can get close to 1.5, 1.6 meters and this thick. Be very wary. His fangs are definitely large enough to bite me through the pants. That is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Absolutely beautiful snake. He came out to drink a bit of water and move across and find another spot to sit and wait in ambush. Fully grown kaboom viper could easily catch something the size of a small vervet monkey, small fowl like guinea fowl. They're famous for taking all kinds of big prey. Even recorded a small dike has been recorded by a fully grown adult. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this gently. Look at that, I got him behind the head. Largest fangs found on any snake in the world. Look at that. Look at the size of that already. And this is not even close to a fully grown snake. We call these hinged fangs. So they fall back like switch knives. You see, it falls back into the mouth. The fangs are actually too large, so it falls back. Their fangs get so long that they can actually bite through their bottom lip and get my finger on the back, so you've got to have a pretty good grip. But look at this spectacular snake, look at the scales. It's just a beautiful heavy-bodied snake. And they sit here and wait in ambush. So he'll swim across here, maybe climb up on the side to find some nice leaves, where he'll completely camouflage and break up. Now these snakes pack a very potent cytotoxic venom. The venom is so potent that if you get bit by the snake, you're going to wish you were dead because of the amount of pain you're going to be in. It's a tissue dissolving venom and lots of scar tissue and a lot of pain. And you can imagine with fangs that size, the amount of venom he could pump directly into your arm. So not a, a snake you want to get bit by. Reluctant to bite. Obviously, if I harass him too much, you'd get a, a, a nasty bite. But if you're gentle, and look, if I put him down very gently, He'll just go on his way. Now he's checking me out. He'll just move off. A bit confused. Look at that. Look at that movement. He just wants to move off. And what I actually want to do before he swims down this channel is I actually want to take him out and show you his camouflage capabilities. Just gently. Just if you're very gentle like this. They settle quite nicely, look at that. 
One of Africa's most feared vipers, the Kaboon Viper. Incredible. Just checking me out. You have to be aware though, he's still got that powerful bite. But I'm gentle, I'm calm, and he's settling nicely now as well. Truly one of the most beautiful venomous snakes as far as the deadly creatures in these forests go. Look at that, just stunning. You're sniffing me. I'm gonna put him here in the leaves. And you'll see how he breaks up right away. Look at that. He actually becomes one. And you can imagine he'll lie in ambush. You cover him in a bit of leaves. You see how he breaks up right away. Look at that. Just look at the colors on him. He's giving me a little tiny bit of a huff there, but he's quite calm with me coming close to him. And you can see how I can lie right next to a snake with fangs that size. And look here, just a gentle rub along the head. Look at that. He's actually loving that. Look at this. All these snakes, if you gently look at it, look how he's lifting his head. Look at that. Now he's having huffing and puffing. You can hear that? That's a huff. Just like the puff adder, they've also got those no large nostrils, and he's warning me now. Incredibly fast strike. These markings in the sun is just so beautiful. By far the most beautiful snake you can find in the forest. And as far as the vipers in Africa goes, by far the most deadly viper found in Africa. There's nothing that compares. And a fully grown 1.5 meter kaboon viper is a formidable predator. And even at this age, goes up here into the roots, hides between these dead leaves, a rat runs past here, he picks up the central, he lunges out, strikes him with those massive fangs. It's amazing how these deadly animals, if you're very gentle with them like this, how you can pick them up. They've got the power to kill you, but they don't want to abuse the power. And time and time again, these incredible primitive animals prove that they are not actually there to kill you. They've only evolved that venom to kill prey, and that's it. And as a last defense, they will bite and eject you. But as long as I'm gentle with them, and I'm not using any force, you can pick them up, but you have to be aware that they still have that power. But just look at that. What a beautiful snake. And a truly humbling experience working with the massive vipers of the forest.